so some important points regarding question number 1 and question number 2 i have started question number 1 from diagram number 1 so in which the base edge is placed on the right hand side so here i have made the base edge on the right hand side because finally the solid must be resting on a base edge when it is getting tilted that is why i have made the base edge on the right hand side and you observe the last sentence of the question assume that the apex of the pyramid is away from vp and is on the right hand side so here this is the apex actually in order to give an inclination of 45 degree to sp for the axis we can tilt it either to the left hand side or to the right hand side so here i have tilted the solid to the right hand side because it is specifically mentioned in the question that is apex is on the right hand side so that is why i have tilted it to the right, right hand side and in the last diagram that is diagram number uh, sorry in diagram number 5 the base edge is tilted in this way because it is mentioned that the apex of the pyramid is away from vp here this is the apex away from vp means away from the xy line in the top view nearer to vp means the apex must be nearer to vp in the top view that is nearer to vp in the xy line so we have actually if the same diagram if it is tilted the other way that is like this apex will be coming here that is apex is nearer to the xy line okay apex is nearer to the xy line that means apex is nearer to vp but as per our question what we require is apex is away from vp that is why i have placed it in this way now in question number 2 here also we are having two inclination one is face is inclined at an angle of 35 degree to vp and it has a base edge on vp base edge on vp means the prism is resting on vp on a base edge and inclined at an angle of 45 degree to sp so i started from diagram number 1 and this is diagram number 2 i have made an edge on the right hand side so this is an edge here we are having an edge so i have done it in this way because i have to tilt the solid in the third diagram so when it is getting tilted finally it must be resting on a base edge and that base edge is b1c1 that is why i have tilted i have made the base edge on the right hand side then and another point that i would like to specify is here i have done the naming process in all the diagrams in such a way that they are not crossing the corresponding projector so here this is b1 b c1 c so in all these we have we need to extend some projectors in order to get the next diagram so if you notice all these uh, naming process if you notice this diagram this diagram whatever may be the diagram these letters are written in such a way that as far as possible they are not cut by the corresponding projection lines if i am writing this b1 in this position when i am extending the projector it will be getting cross it will be getting cut that is why i am i have done it in this place okay so the same is applicable to question number 1 also here i have written b and c in such a way that when i am getting when i am extending these projectors it must not cross c and b and if you notice this diagram i have named it as b i have named here b dash c dash p dash p dash a dash everything is written here so here i am extending projectors so when it is getting extended if i am writing this letter uh, to this space it will be uh, this projector will be crossing this naming so that is why i have written it here so you have to adjust the naming process in such a way that it is not getting crossed by any other projectors if you notice this diagram also i have done it in the same way i have not written a here or d in this particular space because when you are extending projectors it will be crossing these letters okay so as far as possible these type of crossings must be avoided 